So this will be a partial proof of uh, the inscribed angle theorem. Um, I say a partial proof, it comes in three parts. Uh, I'll show two of the parts and I think the third part will be um, easy after that. So the inscribed angle theorem says that the measure of an inscribed angle, so here this angle is inscribed in the circle, uh, the measure of the inscribed angle um, we'll say is, I don't know, x degrees. Uh, then the measure of the intercepted arc is 2x degrees. Uh, so the measure of the inscribed angle is half the measure of the intercepted arc. That's the <coughs> inscribed angle theorem. So there's three cases you have to consider. Let me show you two of those cases. So the first case is when the center of the circle, we'll call this circle P, where P is the center of the circle. <clears throat> the first case, and maybe the hardest case, is when the center of the circle is in the interior of the inscribed angle. So there's our inscribed angle in red. <clears throat> and the point P, the center of the circle, is in the interior of the angle. Okay, so oftentimes when you're making, when you're writing a proof um, in geometry, it's all about drawing in the correct auxiliary lines. And those lines you want to draw here, there, and there. And you'll notice that those three lines, those three segments, are congruent because they're all radii of the circle. And all radii are of equal length, equal measure, so they are congruent. So what do we have? We've actually got two isosceles triangles. Okay? Um, so that means, by the base angle theorem, that the base angles are congruent. So I can say if this is x degrees, then this must be x degrees as well. Uh, and if this is y degrees here, then this is y degrees as well. We have isosceles triangles. The base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. Okay, so the measure of this intercepted arc here, I suppose I should label some points, so I'll call this A, Call this B, call it vertex there, C. Um, the measure of the intercepted arc, AB, is actually equal to the measure of the angle, APB. So we want to show that this angle, APB, is actually 2x plus 2y since the measure of the intercepted, excuse me, since the measure of the inscribed angle is x plus y. So let me continue uh, this line here out. And then it's actually quite trivial because if you think about this angle here, this is an exterior angle of triangle ACP. And the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles which means that the measure of angle APD, say, is 2x. And the same argument for angle BPD, it must be 2y. So the measure of angle ACB is equal to x plus y degrees, angle addition postulate, and the measure of angle APB is 2x plus 2y 
degrees, which is equal to 2x plus y degrees. So there you have it. The measure of the inscribed angle is half the measure of the intercepted arc, since the measure of the intercepted arc is equal to the measure of the central, central angle. And that's probably the hardest case. That's when the center of the circle is in the interior uh, of your inscribed angle. Okay, so what if, what if it's not in the interior? What if the center of the circle is in the exterior of the inscribed angle? Then what do we have? So here, let this be the center P. And let's let the angle be like that. We'll call this point A, this point B, that point C. Well, again, it's all about drawing the right line. So the line you want to consider this time is some is a line that emanates a line segment that emanates from B, but forces P to be in the interior of of the angle. So, like that, and make this point D. So so I draw in segment BD, and then what I have is a case that's reduced to the first case because now I have angle ABD where P is in the interior. So, you know, if I call this x and this y, well, then I've already shown that uh, the intercepted arc AD is 2x plus 2y. That's from the first case. And then we're going to subtract off CD, which must be 2y, right? So we know, so we know if we look at this, the, the central angle APD, the measure of angle APD must equal 2x plus y. We showed that uh, just a second ago. Well, Angle CPD, the measure of angle CPD must equal 2y, since the measure of this inscribed angle is y, then the measure of the central angle, the measure of the intercepted arc, is 2y. That's, again, we showed that a second ago because p is in the interior. Well, if we take 2x plus 2y, and subtract off 2y, so there's 2y, there's 2, I guess I'll write this way, 2x plus 2y, well then that means that this AC, measure this intercepted arc, the measure of angle APC must be 2x. Okay, so we've shown it for when the center is in the interior of the angle. We've shown when the center is in the exterior of the angle. So the last case to consider is when the center of the circle, so let's say this is the center of the circle P, you want to show it's true for when the center of the circle in fact lies on the inscribed angle. But I'll let you work with that one. I think from seeing the first two cases it should be relatively straightforward. Um, so I hope this helped explain why the measure of an inscribed angle is half that of its intercepted arc.